Arise and shine another day. I wonder what will come our way. So much here to see and do in Seagull Street. Games of fun and bravery. Make believe a mystery. All day long until we go to sleep. In Seagull Street, we're all at home. No need to be alone. The kids round here are really cool. Joking, jumping, chasing, racing, making sure that no one's been left out. Be friends, what it's about. We have to say that life is sweet here in Seagull Street. Understanding animals is harder than you think. What is it, Rambi? Do you need a cuddle? Ah! <gasps> Tari! This is an enormous animal! It wanted to eat Fuzzy and Buzzy! <sighs> no, really! I honestly saw it! I ran outside and shouted so loudly that it ran away. Cool! Huh? Does that mean we now have wolves in Seagull Street? You're crazy. Why? Wolves have been reintroduced into the wild. They're even spreading out. Oh. And which direction did the animal go? There, to the Voisins. Across their expensive lawn? Well... Let's have a look. I'm never going to let you two out again. Don't worry. Wolves can't open doors. Hey! I wouldn't be so sure about that. Maybe the wolf has eaten the voisins. And I'm Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Is that your wolf? I think so. Let me see. Hmm? Hello, Mrs. Voisin. I didn't know you had a dog. Of course not. We're just looking after it for my brother-in-law. He's come blessing. Was the dog maybe in our garden today, near the rabbit hut? No. He would never do that. Right, Frederick? You're such a good dog. His full name is Frederick Albert Gladstone IV. But Freddy's OK too, right? That's enough walking for the day. We're leaving. <laughs> and that's the dog that wanted to eat your rabbits. <laughs> the real... <laughs> that's great. Now no one believes me anymore. Suddenly, even I wasn't sure any longer. Tina was my best friend. But she did watch a lot of TV, and that can make you imagine things. I believe you. We'll find out the truth. Don't worry. <sighs> but I'm going to leave Rambi in my room for the moment. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> And now he's gone! <laughs> oh, poor dragon! Look! There are some paw prints. Oh, hmm, a dog's. Mm -hmm. Well, well. Tara and Tina are playing with Mouse in the sandbox. We're not playing. We're looking for a thief. The one that stole Dragon. That's odd, and I've been missing my trowel for the last few days. Have you seen it anywhere? No, Grandpa Clover, but we'll let you know if we come across it. Huh? The door's open again. But no sign of the culprit. When shortly afterwards Lucas's ball disappeared, the whole thing got very suspicious. <laughs> suspicious? But how could the dog steal all those things? It's always on a lead. And Mr. Voicing would hardly let him out into their garden. <laughs> I didn't let Dragon out on his own either. <laughs> we'll find Dragon. I'm absolutely certain. If 
the adults won't believe us, then we'll just solve the mystery ourselves. We'll start a detective agency. And we won't let the boys join in. And we'll call ourselves the Four Cool Girls, right? And we'll all have badges with a four on. Yes, and we always show them, like the police do on TV with their badges. Oh, you oh. are so childish. We can hardly go round to the Voisings, ring the doorbell, show our badges and say, We'd like to search your house. Your dog may have hidden a trowel, a ball and a dragon in its basket. It was clear that Julie only found our idea childish so that she could suggest one of her own. I've got a much better idea. I lie in wait in the garden with my video camera and catch the dog red-handed. And Tari and I will see if the dog gets out through the front door. She doesn't take him for walks much. She probably doesn't give him much to eat either. That's why he wanted to eat my rabbits. Oh! <gasps> our <gasps> secret investigation's currently in progress. Yeah, so secret the investigators don't even know about hmm. them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to find out? Yeah, come on, spill the beans. Without us men, it's doomed to failure anyway. Hmm. hmm. In the end, of course, the boys wanted to join in our investigations. I found out on the internet that the suspect is a bulldog, and bulldogs used to be bred as fighting dogs. <gasps> That's why we've decided to protect you women folk. Huh? Mm -hmm. hmm. Exactly. Huh? And I can be the dog tamer. <laughs> 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 But Peter wanted to take that decision and be the dog tamer himself. But I couldn't imagine for the life of me how he could tame him since he never had a dog. Then we increased the number of lookout posts so we could monitor Seagull Street comprehensively. And we had two of us at each surveillance point because everyone was a bit scared, even though no one would admit it. <laughs> Only Peter wanted to work alone, because as dog tamer, he didn't want people nattering at the dog from all sides. Rats, the battery's almost empty. I'd better go and get another one. And whatever you do, Fritzy, stay here. I just played dead! I just played dead! the craziest chase that Seagull Street had ever seen. I think maybe you should start your dog taming. Oh no, too late. Hey, Freddy! Get away from there! Do you hear? Leave them alone! Huh? That's what you call taming. Oh. 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 In a film, this is when someone sacrifices themselves so that the other one can survive. It was then I realised why I don't watch many films. It 
just wants to play. <laughs> Look how friendly Freddy is after all. He can't stop wagging his tail. I wonder if he'll give me a paw. Give me a paw, Freddy. Good dog. Wasn't that cool? Then we taught Freddy lots of stuff, because he really liked learning and didn't have to be bored any longer. In the end, Freddy even led us to the things he'd hidden and dug them all out again. <laughs> oh. Maybe you should give that to your mum first so she can wash it. <laughs> What's going on here? How did the dog get into your garden? Frederick, come here at once. Then we told Mrs. Voison everything. Of course, at first, she didn't believe that Freddy had started stealing things out of sheer boredom and carried on scolding us. <laughs> Until suddenly, that. she went oh. very quiet. And then she was even proud of her dog. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Voisin. Could we take Freddy for a walk, please? But you've already taken him for a walk four times today. Oh, well, help yourselves. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Voisin. Voisin. After that, we could take Freddy for a walk as often as we wanted, so that he didn't get up to any more mischief. Understanding animals is one thing. Understanding the Voisins, though, is quite another.